So if you are like me, you are preserving the summer's bounty. I have a 11,000 square feet of outdoor gardens and 9,000 square feet of greenhouse growing space. And we seem to have a bountiful harvest of most vegetables right now. So I'm preserving all that I can for the winter. And today I would like to share with you a very simple way to preserve some extra green beans for the winter. So I brought some out today to show you. So these are dilly beans. And these are our regular green ones that we do um, grow the green. But this year we actually canned some of the yard long red noodle beans and they stay red which is super awesome and the juice is actually kind of pinky purple too. So anyways, if you're wanting to make some red dilly beans, go ahead and grow the yard long red noodles. Now, how do I make these? So it's a really simple recipe. So in a jar, I place one grape leaf, one clove of garlic that's peeled, and one head of dill or a te teaspoon of dill seeds. And to make the brine, I put in a pot three quarts of water, one quart of apple sauce, Oh, sorry, apple cider vinegar and three quarters cup of sea salt. And what I want to do is snap the beans and these ones I snap them the length of the jar. Snap the beans and they're going to go in the jar on top of the garlic, the dill and the grape leaf. So that, all that stuff is in the bottom in here. Next I pour the hot brine into the jar until the liquid is about a quarter inch down from the top of the jar. And then I'll put the lid on the jar and then put it in my water bath and I'm going to boil it out for 10 minutes. When that's done, I'm going to set it on the countertop until it cools and then I'm going to make sure it's sealed. So you're going to be poking the top to make sure you got a seal. These things make great holiday gifts. They're a great way to preserve uh, your harvest for the winter. And our family really, really loves these. So if you would like to learn more about preserving your harvest for the winter, go ahead and get into our fruits and vegetables ebook. We have listed the best way to preserve over 25 different vegetables. So in this guide, you will learn which vegetables does best in which preservation method. So, you know, should you can, should you dehydrate, should you freeze, should you root cellar, which vegetable do you do which way? So if you do it wrong, the vegetable may not hold through the winter. It may taste really bad. You want to be sure that you're doing it right. So you can get the Preserving Fruits and Vegetables Guide ebook. It's free when you sponsor the show. We give it away along with the Gardener's Guide to Perfect Soil and a homemade and organic pest control ebook. And this is for anyone who sponsors the show at the $8.50 level. So the money we raise from the sponsorship, it goes to keeping the show free to everyone around the world. And I feel that everyone should have access to learn how to grow food for themselves and their families. And by sponsoring the show, you are part of keeping this education free and feeding people around the world. And if you'd like to learn more about high performance gardening, then you can go to our website, thelivingfarm.org. There you can find more articles, videos, and e-courses that can help you on your way to success. If you want to learn how to grow $2,500 worth of organic produce with only a 15 minute a day commitment, sign up for the High Performance Garden Show. There are hundreds of episodes chock full of my best gardening secrets that I have learned over the last three decades. Go to thelivingfarm.org slash high-performance-garden-show. It's free and online. Also, if you want to join the premier online community of people who grow food, medicine, and build resilient communities, join us today at thegrownetwork.com. Thanks so much for watching. May your garden be easy, fun, productive, and always organic.